Welcome back, traders and investors, to Benzinga's Pre-Market Prep, brought to you by MarketFi. I'm your co-host, Joel Alconan, along with Brianna Valeski. And we're going to talk sports here with Dan Karpuk. He is Director of Content at Trade Sports. Dan, a busy week for you, I bet. Absolutely, absolutely. We saw, you know, a lot of great games last weekend. Um, you know, that Patriots game comes to mind. Tom Brady coming back from... 14-point deficits twice to win, first time in NFL history. You know, our, our guys, uh, our players on our site got real excited about that. And uh, they've, they've uh, as you could say in the markets, they've bid up the uh, the Patriots. And now, are they still the favorite here in your longer-term contract? Absolutely. They're, they're, they're a slight favorite. Um, they're trading at 36%, um, and the Seahawks are trading at 35 to win the Super Bowl. So, very close, but it's it's obvious that the crowd really believes that those two teams will be representing their conferences in the Super Bowl. Uh, Green Bay is down at 15%. Um, and, and so, you know, you, you got to think Aaron Rodgers' calf injury, also playing in Seattle, has something to do with that. The Colts are down also at 15%. Um, so, you know, playing in, in New England against Tom Brady, you know, at this time of the year, the odds don't look, uh, you know, in their favor. Um, so it, it's really the Patriots and the Seahawks are the two crowd favorites right now. They certainly represent uh, their conferences. If they both win this weekend, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what the crowd says. You know, we'll both hover around 50 or will one, one have a, a slight edge over the other when Super Bowl time comes. Tell me about that contract, the uh, you know the longer term one, because I know you have the things on the weeklies. When did this contract start? What and I know there had to be some other propositions, right? That uh, that that you had to put. You just couldn't go strictly on the Patriots or Seattle to win uh, the Super Bowl. Correct. So when we started, there were one, two, three. There were around fifteen um, stocks. So. Uh, the Seahawks, Broncos, 49ers, Patriots, Packers, you know, all the teams that um, at the beginning of the season had um, somewhat reasonable odds to win the Super Bowl. That's who we listed um, based on what the odds makers said, based on what Vegas said. Um, and so as the season went along and teams started losing and dropping out, um, you know, we expired those, those contracts at, at zero. Um, so basically, you know, if, at the beginning of the season, um, if the Patriots were listed at eight or nine percent to win the Super Bowl, they they were trading all the way down at two percent after their Monday Night Football loss to the Chiefs when they got absolutely annihilated. People were talking about how Brady was just his career was over, that he was washed up, this team has no talent, et cetera, et cetera. Now look at them, you know. So people who you know bought shares at that time went long on them are really being rewarded now. And uh, can they, and there's a liquid market, right? So can they sell those contracts out now if they're a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit Absolutely. New? Yep. Okay. Absolutely. So as, as the season goes along, um, you know, to this day, you can still, you know, buy or sell shares of the Seahawks, Patriots, Packers, um, and Colts. So, you know, if, if you have a newfound confidence in one of those teams, you know, say, you know, not many people are really backing the Colts right now. They're trading at 14% actually. Um, so, you know, you, you might, if, if you think Brady is going to struggle at home, if you see the way that defense played last week against Joe Flacco, you know, that might be a, a good stock to, to buy right now at that low price. Okay. And then, so the overall winner of the contest will be the person, how they allocated their uh, dollar allocation to the teams as it's progressed over the season. Absolutely, absolutely. So we started this contest before the season began. So the winner of this contest, um, you know, will likely you know be the one who allocated um, you know all of their funds correctly throughout throughout the entire process for sure. Okay. So I could definitely fill you in in a couple of weeks after we determine who the winner is um, and let and let you know exactly you know what that person did throughout okay. the course of the contest because it should be interesting for sure and also there's different there's like a one is there a one five dollar ten dollar contest five hundred dollar you know contest what uh just tell tell us about the different ones right absolutely well for this weekend coming up um we have a bunch of really cool contests so 
that is a season long contest and um, our main focus is on daily fantasy sports. So for this upcoming week, um, we have, you know, the typical Packers versus Seahawks, Colts versus Patriots, where users um, or players, excuse me, um, they trade four out of seven stocks at a minimum saying yes or no. So the probability is between zero and 100. Yes, answers expired 100. No, answers expired zero. Um, so if you think the Patriots are going to win, for example, they're priced around 65. So if you say yes, you would buy, uh, say, 100 shares at 65. And the person who allocates their funds correctly or the most accurately ends up winning the contest. So we have really cool uh, contests this weekend. We have the Packers versus Patriots, or excuse me, the Packers versus the Seahawks for the NFC Championship, the Colts versus the Patriots for the AFC. We have quarterback battles between Aaron Rodgers, Russell Wilson, and we have running back battles between Eddie Lacy, Marshawn Lynch. Um, tight end battle between Gronk versus Colby Fleener and Dwayne Allen. Um, and, and so we can do these type of things. And most of all, we want to stress that you can be a fan on our site. So none of these other daily fantasy sites in our space allow you to truly become a fan. You're asked to make lineups uh, based on you know a virtual salary cap, and you can't really oftentimes pick players that you like, or you can never really pick a team unless you're picking a defense. On our site, you know, you, if you're a Seahawks fan, you can log on to the site right now. And by the way, we give every person who logs on to the site and signs up for the first time uh, twenty dollars for free. Um, so you know, we think that's a really sweet deal. But <laughs> getting back to my point, um, so if you're if you're a Seahawks fan. Um, you know, you could sign on and you could predict the Seahawks to win. And while the game's going on, you know, you can be rooting for your team. Um, and and can hopefully you trade, at the end of the day, you, if you're correct, you know, you can make money off of it. Can you trade uh, now during the game? You could tra- In that particular contest, you can trade out of your position, right? Well, the thing is we're, we're pregame based now. So okay, while the game's okay. going on, um, you're, you're, you set your picks before the game begins. Okay. Do you want? Do you want my? Do you want my take? Sure. Absolutely. I think I would. I would be buying a little bit of Green Bay here. I think that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think Rogers. I don't know, man. That guy is just so good. I mean, he has a calf injury. Injury. Did you see that Devontae Adams, that other wide receiver? Uh, that they I know. I, I agree. I mean, I think Devontae Adams could be a guy who opens up the game because you got to think Richard Sherman um, will shut down either Randall Cobb or Jordy Nelson, whoever's out there. Um, you know, but Devontae Adams could be certainly a guy that you know is able to get some space. Yep. Sure. Yep. Seattle's up and down, and uh, you know they were at the beginning of the season. So I don't know. We'll see. There's always an upset. Look at what those uh, Ohio Buckeyes did, right? There's always an upset <laughs> somewhere. But uh, absolutely. Uh, Last time we talked, I, I called it the Alabama game. I didn't even give them the. I you know. know. I didn't I, even mention them. <laughs> yeah. I used. To, um, okay. Well, we we're gonna have to wrap things up here. I want to. Uh, you know, we're getting uh, around the corner here with spring training, and I wanted to go into uh, a little bit of the baseball. But uh, we'll save that. We're gonna, we're gonna have you on again uh, next week, I believe, or in two weeks. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. Well, enjoy it. I hope uh, everyone uh, goes to your site and checks it out. Dan Carpock, uh, director of content at Trade Sports. Joining us here on Benzinga's Pre-Market Prep, talking about the sports market. Thanks, Dan. Thanks a lot.